Aloha from Christ Vision's Ministry of Healing for the Body, Mind, and Soul. I'm Vicki Francois. Please join me today as we focus on keeping a healthy soul. Make sure to subscribe right now to our YouTube channel so we can study the Bible together bite by bite. Please like our page to bless us for our work and share our post to help others keep a healthy soul. As we focus on keeping our souls healthy, let's look today in our readings from the Holy Bible. Let's look at Job chapters 1 verses 1 through 5. It starts out telling us about Job and his family and how they lived in the land of Oz. Today we'll learn how Job was a faithful, blameless man who loved the Lord. As we continue in our studies over the next few readings, we will see that even someone as focused on God as Job was still faced horrible trials and suffering. As we read the Bible together, let's be looking for how these teachings that Job learned can help us if we apply them to our lives today, too. Remember, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. As we will see, even as faithful and trusting as Job was, he learns during his times of suffering that God's ways are not our ways. So let's look at the life Job had before the trials and suffering hit his life from all sides. Let's look again. It's Job chapter 1 verses 1 through 5. There was a man in the land of Oz whose name was Job, and that man was blameless and upright and one who feared God and shunned evil. And seven sons and three daughters were born to him. Also his possessions were seven hundred sheep. Correction, that was seven thousand sheep, three thousand camels, five hundred yoke of oxen, five hundred female donkeys, and a very large household so that this man was the greatest of all the people of the East. And his sons would go and feast in their houses, each on his appointed day, and would send and invite their, their three sisters to eat and drink with them. So it was, when the days of the fasting, and the feasting, I'm sorry, when the days of the feasting had run their course, that Job would send and sanctify them, and he would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. And thus Job did regularly. Make sure you join me next time as we look at how Satan attempts God and asks him if he can tempt Job. Join me next time and thank you. Make sure before you leave, you've subscribed, like, and share. God bless you. Until next time, mahalo.